All right, folks, Captain Paul here aboard this 2004 main ship 400. Uh, you know, uh, I've been involved with quite a few of these boats. Uh, the 400s happen to be my favorite. A couple unique, before we start this walkthrough uh, video on this particular boat, a couple of the unique features about it. I love the stainless uh, steel doors. Also, I've never been in one that had this uh, headliner was so clean on it, and you'll see it in the walk uh, through video. Also, this particular one has a washer, uh, wash machine uh, built in. I think that came stock, didn't it, Tom, from the, yeah, from the factory. Um, also, we got a low, a low, low hour, uh, 32, uh, 3126. 20, 23. Uh, 2310 hours, uh, about 300 hours since the 1,000 hour service was done on it. Um, and, and then another thing that I really like about this boat is the no carpet. That's kind of a cool feature. You don't see a whole lot of them, but I think that was a huge upgrade. Uh, you guys paid for that when you uh, originally bought it, right? It was about a $7,000, yeah. uh, Did uh, you guys did. But there's no carpet in here, and I really, really like that about the boat. Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick uh, walk around video here. Uh, we'll talk about the boat as I go through each section. Um, and then if you got any questions or something, leave the comments down uh, below. It is for sale by owner. And uh, you know, uh, the price is 215, uh, which these, all of these are listed at about 240, uh, but he's gonna do it at 215, no negotiating. Uh, you come buy it or you, uh, or you, or you don't. It's, it's pretty much that simple. And this is probably one of the lower hour, cleaner ones on the market today. You'll see the dinghy, the grill, uh, it's got the stove, uh, everything works on it. It's got two, uh, two air conditioners on it. Um, generator, uh, it's got uh, a 9KW generator with a little right, right at 1,000 hours. It's, uh, I think it's just right at like 1,003 hours. Engine's got uh, 2,300 and uh, 10 hours on it. Again, about 2,100 hours, 1,000 hour service was done on it. Um, clean, clean boat, um, and it's ready to go. You could jump in this boat tomorrow and, just, and basically start looping on it. So anyway, enjoy the tour. You guys got any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Guys, I'm gonna start right back here with this walkthrough tour right here. Look at these beautiful stainless steel doors on this thing. Woo, just sexy. And I believe that's an upgrade. There's a couple of upgrades on this boat I've noticed uh, compared to some of the other ones. Uh, that you don't see on a lot of the other ones because a lot of the problems with these boats are the swim decks and this one ha actually has a swim deck that's not conformed so this you can see is kind of a separate swim deck right here a lot of moisture in these swim decks right here and this one does not so i can tell that uh, this one had some definitely some upgrades and i think this stainless steel package because mostly these are powder coated and all of this powder coated will be uh, worn off again look at these floors right here all um you know the, it's not carpet so especially for you pet owners really really nice no odors when i walk into here oh, just beautiful look at this the 400 is a unique beast because it's just uh it's laid out a little bit differently than the 3900. Uh, this couch right here is the original couch and even under here it has a uh, storage for your wine lock you know for you for you winos Look at that little wine locker there for your wine bottles and stuff like that. And then it's got all storage underneath here where he's got all of the extra like engine parts and stuff like that. Get into the engine compartment in a few minutes. Then you got your table here. Your, your downstairs helm. You guys can see right here that he has both bow and stern thruster right here. Ray Marine right here. Um, it's got, uh, I can turn the switch on here. It's, you got, uh, oops. 2300 and 12 hours on the, on the engine and then you got your autopilot and your ray marine right there you got your air, air conditioner here with all your zones you got your vhf right here um, you can even the air conditioner is on right now it's just really really quiet you can't even hear that air conditioner uh, this boat happens to be because you got your xanax uh, this is for your um, uh, charging your batteries and your inverter, your control panel, your coffee maker, all your switching right there. Got your stove, your electric stove right here. Look how clean this is. They don't even use it. To, uh, she's never cooked on it. She doesn't like cooking inside. So they, they did replace the grill upstairs and they've got a new, uh, he, he did put a new grill on it. 
So I just look, went and looked at one of these over in Cocoa Beach. Uh, it was actually kind of disappointing because it was, all of this wood was just in such bad shape. Uh, refrigerator, man, it was, it, yeah, the, look at the headliner in this thing. We talked about that at the beginning of the video. It's absolutely perfect in this boat. Also, I, I, Tom had it replaced uh, when he first bought it about seven years ago. It's one of the reasons it looks that good. Anyway, look at this, just beautiful. Huh. So you got your helm station, your charts, uh, books, everything like that. More storage underneath here. So we're going to walk down below here. And this is the bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Um, see right here, closet. It's pretty standard. You guys that are looking for these boats, I mean, they're all pretty well pretty well the same. This one does look like it's got some upgraded stuff. Separate shower, uh, electric head. It's all the stuff you want to see. All of that stuff you want to see. And then two door entry. And then this is this uh, spare bedroom right here. Now this is much bigger than the 3900. And 3900, this is all just like a little crawl space underneath here uh, to where the 400 here really opens this up. and two people can actually sleep in here <laughs> i know that because uh, on the 3900 uh I, i've been on a few trips on the 3900 and this is my bunk especially as you guys go dig deep back in some of my videos you can see the um uh me and uh, caffrey and we stay in this bunk right here but much much bigger on on this and then you have the door here for to get into the head right here all right, and then underneath here, underneath the steps right here, this is where your wash machine's at. So you just pick this up right here like this. You put the clamp on and there's your wash machine. Anyway, so we'll walk back out here. We'll head up uh, and head around the decks. Okay. So we'll head on uh, up here, up the, up the two easy steps to get up, walk across the floor right here, walk out the back, and we'll do a walk around from the outside. Man, that air conditioner's blowing ice cold. So you can see the dinghy hanging from the back right here. Uh, he's gonna throw the dinghy in. It's a hard bottom dinghy. Um, it does have a slow leak in it, uh, but the engine was just done on its thousand hour. And you want the dinghies up high like this. Why is that so important? Because when they're down low, they'll take water on. Uh, and you get into any type of sea, that dinghy right there, um, it'll, the wave will come up off the back of the boat and it'll just grab the dinghy. You know how I know that? Because it's actually happened to me a couple times. And I've seen it happen more than once. So we'll walk around the decks here. Just super clean. What's really impressive on this, this particular boat is these window frames and that that door, how, how good a shape they're in. That last one I looked at in Cocoa Beach that was all flaking off powder coating. A little bit windy today. So you got your windlass here. Yeah, this is just a completely different beast than the 3900. Canvas looks in pretty good shape. Yeah, look at these window frames, just, just almost flawless on these window frames. See a little bit of chipping on them, but very, very rare. So I'm going to show you inside the lazarette here. Well, there's your hydraulic steering right there. There's your uh, stern thruster right there motor. There's your generator right there. Exhaust. 
All right, guys, so let's uh, finish this tour up in the engine room here. You can see nice, clean engine, what we want to see here. And this 3126 cat with uh, 2,310 hours on it. Put your batteries here. Transmission, build, all looks really, really good. I want to give you a quick look at this engine room right here. That's how I can always tell you. you got your fuel tanks right here. Nice big fuel tank, all looks good. That was the port side, this is the starboard side of the engine. You can look around this engine room. So I want you guys to know that this video was taken today, April 12th. Um, so that you're actually seeing what I see on this boat. So let's walk up top here. Like the folding mask right there. You loopers. Now, I don't think you really need it. I think that just the light needs to come down on the top. So you can see the dinghy system. And the dinghy, which you can put air in it and it holds for two or, two or three days. It's fine. You just get you got to stick air in it every couple days. Here's the new grill. This is what the, he does most of his cooking on. You got your ice machine. The canvas looks in really good shape. Seats look in uh, good shape. Yeah, this canvas is in pretty good shape. Definitely got another loop in her for sure. Nice and clear. This is the upstairs helm right here. You got your two thruster controllers. You got your two uh, Raymarine E80s. Your autopilot. Trim tabs, windlass. Uh, your tachometers your tachometer and then all your gauges you got your marine VHF here all good 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 stuff anyway you got any questions on this boat just give me a call I will be happy to ha answer any questions it is for sale by owner uh, Tom will be happy to uh, answer any questions that you might have Folks, I have one more thing to add to this particular main ship because I've been involved in quite a few of these main ships and one of the big problems that some people don't like is the prop underneath. So you got the keel and then the prop and that prop is exposed uh, on these single screws and, and the twin screws. But on this particular boat, um, they went ahead and spent the money and I'll show you a picture of the conversion right here. You know, none of this stuff is cheap. None of it is. Um, but anyway, they, they, they run a bar, uh, you know, they take it from the keel and run it underneath uh, the prop and it protects the prop. So like if you run a ground or anything, you know, comes up from the bottom and hit wants to hit that prop, it's gonna hit that bar and it can't really, uh, so it's got a keel protected prop, just like a, a regular Grand Banks, let's say, uh, 36. And I wanted to mention that uh, before I end this video on this, uh, you know, 400 main ship because it is a nice feature. It did cost a lot of money um, and it, you know, it's part of this boat. So if you buy this boat and you're one of those guys um, that uh, want that keel protection prop, uh, then this could be your boat. Uh, then, uh, you know, some of you guys will talk about the Caterpillar versus the uh, Yanmar. Uh, you know, this is all I can really say about it is the Yanmar is, uh, um, you know, a good motor. Um, but uh, the Caterpillar, there's a cat dealer on every corner, uh, you know, so it, it literally a cat dealer. So, you know, there's, there's advantages to having the cat and the 3126. If you're going to buy one, uh, uh, any marine uh, b uh, boat, any, any boat uh, with a cat in it, the 3126 is the best of those uh, in this vintage of trawlers. All right, guys. So real quick, I'm going to finish this video up on this 400, uh, 2004 main ship uh, and I, I've had this question already a couple times because I, I threw a little ad up on uh, Facebook about this this boat is sitting in Marathon Florida at uh, Sombrero Marina 
and the the slip is transferable and you can live aboard at this slip the slip fees um i don't know what this one's a little bit smaller than my boat so i can't tell you the exact fee but my fee uh, last month with power was 1600 and like 50 dollars for the month this one might be a little bit less money just because uh, this is a 40-foot boat and mine's a 50-foot boat, basically. So, I, and I'm not sure on that, but it is a transferable slip. Anyway, you got any questions, uh, feel free uh, to ask. Uh, the boat is, uh, it appears to be in, in a very well-kept condition um, and, uh, you know, ready for a survey, ready to get on. And, and if you want to take it and head down to America's Great Loop, it's ready to go. Uh, oil change was just done on it not too long ago. Um, and the, like I said, the thousand hour service was done at about 2,100 hours. It's got 2,300 hours on it now. So anyway, uh, it's got all the manuals, everything's just sitting right over here since, uh, since the uh, original purchase of the boat. So again, you guys have any questions, anybody wants to see the boat, uh, feel free to come down here, take a look at it, and, uh, and let's, do, let's do this. Anyway, peace out. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.